Hello, Internet! I'm Hamster Bomb, and you are watching the new series of Pokemon Randomizer. <laughs> and it's freaking Pokemon Coliseum. I loved this game so much when I was little. Um, it, seriously, it was so amazing seeing, like, the Pokemon Stadium series, which I actually never even got to play, um, because I thought it was so cool seeing Pokemon in 3D back when this came out. And then letting it move over to the GameCube, which was the first actual home console I had. It was so cool getting to play this game. I loved it so much. Plus, even, like, the campaign and everything of this is so amazing already. The idea of only being able to catch Shadow Pokemon is gonna be so cool. I can't wait for this Coliseum. I'm so glad we were even able to do this. So, what we're gonna be doing is starting a new game in story mode. Uh, yeah? Oh, I'm so excited. Done! Perfect, this hamster okay? Well, I typed it in, didn't I? But anyway, even like story-wise, I think this game was so amazing, and I feel really weird that, you know, Pokemon abandoned this idea for the most part of making these kind of console-based Pokemon games. This was so cool! I love this game! The villains were all over the top and ridiculous. The game itself is so interesting because you're kind of playing as an anti-hero. Yes! Look at that smug face! Look at that smug face! And you start, supposedly, with an Umbreon and an Espeon. Or at least that's what you start with uh, in normal Pokemon Coliseum. But remember, we are playing Pokemon Coliseum Randomizer. Every Pokemon that we are going to start with, obviously both are Umbreon and Espeon, they're not really an Umbreon and Espeon, they're going to be some other two Pokemon. Our opponents, everyone's going to have other random Pokemon. Oh! Blowing it up as you go. We literally just robbed them. I don't care if they're the bad guys. We just robbed them. Blew up their base. But anyway, everyone else is going to have random Pokemon. Uh, the, po the Shadow Pokemon, which there's no wild grass in this game. The only Pokemon you can capture, and you'll see more of this later, are Shadow Pokemon. See, it was Umbreon Espeon sitting in there. It's, it's a pre-rendered cutscene. So, um, as of now, we have no idea who we actually have in our party. But anyway. Ah! I'm so excited! Also... There's no, there's not gonna be any silly randomizer rules like we had for the last few. Mainly because Coliseum alone is already a crazy hard game. We don't need any of the crazy hard rules thrown on top of it. No Nuzlocke stuff or either. I don't know how you could beat Coliseum Nuzlocke anyway. You'd have to be resetting constantly to even try and catch your only Pokemon. We'll get to that stuff later. Why we sure picked out. Huh? I love chowing down after a job. It has flavor, I swear. <laughs> yeah, and we bagged ourselves a great big catch, too. Boss will be sure to fix us up good with big rewards, too. Eh, it doesn't get any better than this. Not sure what that is we overheard from uh, Goku and Mickey Mouse, who just decided to leave this place. Can you guys hurry up with your hover car? I'm, uh, I don't know why I came here after robbing the place. I literally started wearing what I stole, too. Mainly because, um, I, they didn't have a model for this character without one, I guess, but still. I think his actual name is Wes, because it's your first option. That's what they assume his name is. Authorities have made a stunning announcement to the mysterious building that exploded in, um, Eklo Canyon? Uh, it was Team Snagum's hideout. Team Snagum is a gang of Pokemon abductors who have already been marked for arrest. The hideout was discovered only as a result of the explosion. By the time police arrived, the ruined building had already been abandoned. The cause of the explosion is under investigation. It should become apparent eventually. What an odd thing for the people in the news to say. We'll find out later. Whoa, where am I going here? Yeah, I'm using a game controller, and eventually, like, I am noticing... Um, he wants to, like, walk to the left sometimes. This was happening in another game I was playing, but still. I haven't seen your face around these parts, a traveler, huh? Not that it matters any. I don't know, uh, where you might have come from over the life. Stick around a while. Oh. Yeah, don't worry about me. I definitely didn't just... Um, uh, no? Who are they? They're a bunch of heartless crooks. They rip off Pokemon from trainers without any hesitation. Here they use something called a snag ball to catch Pokemon from their rightful trainer in battle. Guessing that you're a trainer, you best be careful. Yeah, they're literally just straight up thieves. Hello. You know, I didn't quite understand what happened, but having your hideout blown up on you, crime doesn't pay, I guess. I live in a crime-free life, so nothing's going to blow up on me. <laughs> sure. I totally believe you. Hello, lady. There's no forgiving that team snag them. They don't deserve what they did to steal Pokemon from trainers. Um, why did I give a hip hip hooray if they uh, wiped out with their erect up? Well, 
Because it eh, went kablooey and explosions are newsworthy, late. That's just how it goes. Um, a uh, mysterious character with pink hair in the back. Uh, you're a Pokemon trainer too, aren't you? No, I don't. What are you talking about? I can tell. And you're good. I can see in your eyes. I don't even know what my starters are yet, dude. I literally just started. I don't know anything. I bet your Pokemon are impressive too. Oh, they're gonna be. They're gonna be the best like no one ever was. If the opportunity ever arises, I'd like to have a battle with you. I thought I'd doubt I'd have any chance of beating you. Really? You doubt you'll have any chance of beating? Well, dude, if you have random Pokemon like me, you have just as much of a chance as anybody else would. I was just thinking we could pull this up to actually check what our Pokemon are, but I'm gonna leave that as a secret. We're gonna wait for a bit. We also have our PDA. I don't remember what this is. Is this like basically your menu? Ah, your snag list. So all the Pokemon, I guess you have, um, snag. Hey, my ID number. That's kind of a cool number. I'm cool with that. Hamster's email. Well, I mean, nice to know. Forever alone. Ah, no friends from, and cancel. Okay. Forever alone. Items. What do I have going on here? I'm, man, I'm already stocked. Sweet. Yeah, he's, he's straight up a prepared Pokemon trainer. Um, nothing that's, yeah. None of that other extra stuff. He basically just has generic items, and only a few of them to boot. So, I wasn't actually expecting anything, but still, kind of cool that he even had anything there. Awesome. Very much awesome. Yo, wait up! Oh. I thought so. Ah, pink hair! Ah, oh, of course. Hey, my name's Willie. Oh, is this name randomized too? Uh, see, I don't know. After I got a good look at you, well, I got this urge to battle you. It's compelled to... You, we talked about it! And I'm not a Pokemon trainer, remember? You can't find me. Anyway, I look at it, it's obviously you're an ordinary Joe. No, I'm a hamster, Bob. What do you say? Let's have a quick battle? What better way to figure out what our Pokemon are? Yeah, that's the spirit. See, that's better. I want to throw them in the battle and get surprised. Here, this way. Yeah. Yeah, I'm burning now. I'm on fire. Full throttle time. Vroom, vroom, let's roll. Man, this guy's kind of a, kind of a freak, but whatever. Let's show him who's the boss. Ryder Willie would like to battle. All right, sweet. Um, Mewtwo? Oh God, what? And Ponyta, oh my. It's the MVPs of the last two randomizers. Charmander, yes. Oh, well, well that's not gonna help us now. And Ralts, that's sweet. That's not gonna help us in this fight. Trace pressure, oh no. Okay. How on earth am I gonna win? Okay, granted, my, my Charmander's level 28. Uh, what do we know? Um, Smog, False Swipe, Mud Shot, and Haze. Ah, but it's a Charmander. It's on level 28 too. Look at their XP. If we beat this guy, they're both gonna evolve and we're gonna start this game with a Charmeleon and a Curlia. That's freaking awesome! But we gotta somehow kill his Mewtwo? Um, okay. Mudshot, the Ponyta. At the very least, that's all I can do. Ralts, big money, you know good moves, right? Growth, Harden, Rest, and Skull Bash! Oh, that's awful! That is awful! As long as it's Mewtwo and his Ponyta, no garbage moves too, we might be okay here. I doubt it, but... I say we start laying into that Mewtwo. Mewtwo used Rage. Okay, that's not too bad. That didn't even hurt that much. That's right, Charmander, you got this. Barrage. Ponyta missed. Charmander Mudshot. Spit. Night. Oh! Ownage. The Ownage. Speed fell. Oh, yeah. Ralts lowered its head. Defense rose. Okay, I was gonna say, please give me that defense buff. We need this. Nice. Okay. Charmander, I'm actually, mm, but that Ponyta's gotta die. I was gonna say, I kinda want him to attack the Mewtwo instead, cause that, that Mudshot did a ton, but I could for sure KO the Ponyta if I hit it instead. Mewtwo's using Rage, it didn't build. It never built, so he didn't do that much to Charmander. That's good. Mudshot finishes off Ponyta, speed lowered, yes. Oh, Hotaru? It's the only time You've finally done for good, Hotaru. You're gone. Charmander is now level 29. If we can beat this Mewtwo, if we can beat Frank Spank of the Mewtwo, I don't know how we're gonna do this. But if we can, we're gonna level up both of these guys. Charmander, that's not enough, man. That's not enough, buddy. Ralts, come on. Big money on this Skull Bash. 
Let's go. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> Rage is building. Oh, God. I don't have a choice. What do I do? False swipe is not going to be stronger than a mud shot. Uh, what if I poisoned it? Is that worth it? Um, he can kill me at any moment. I don't know. Um, shoot. Oh, gosh. Okay. I'm going to mud shot Mewtwo. And another Skull Bash on Mewtwo. Mewtwo, hopefully, is still going to... Psycho Boost? What? Oh! That was a free one shot kill! A stab! Psycho Boost! Mewtwo! Are you- What? His me- Mewtwo is glo- Sky Attack! <laughs> okay, items. I gotta revive. I gotta revive now. Do I have- I'm not that prepared. Oh god. Um, I thought I was. Uh oh. Gulp. Ralts, you need to- You need to bash the skull so hard. Mewtwo Sky- It is Sky Attack! Are you kidding me? Ow! Oh, okay. It, uh, uh- Are- Is this beatable? Is this beatable? Hamster white it out. Is this beatable right now? I- I- I-, I Wait, what's it? Yeah, yeah, okay, I gotta try this again. I gotta try this again. Alright, so, yo, wait up. Okay. Hey, my name is Willie. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's, that's fantastic, dude. You... Oh, wait, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, what if I said no? He's probably gonna force me to battle anyway. I don't have a choice. But... Yeah, you, you're like, oh, I don't think I can beat you, but let me start out by throwing my... My Ponyta and my Mewtwo at you. Not the very le Oh, he never evolved. Do I at least level up? Yeah, he still has Mewtwo and Ponyta. Oh my god! Charmander, I want these! I can't let this game beat me! We have to be able to get past this. Trace, run away! That was useless. Uh, well, I guess that doesn't matter. No, I actually would have helped. If Ralts traced pressure, it might stop the amount of times Mewtwo tries to use Sky Attacks or um, Psycho Boosts, which can miss. That's possible. They can miss. I might have to play this a bajillion times. But I'm beating this. I will beat this. Charmander, tactic last time works. You got a mud shot that ponytail. You're level 29 now. You might actually take it out one shot. I'm not sure. And Skull Bash Mewtwo. That's my only attack. Rage. Okay, that's good. In comparison to his other moves, that's good. That's nothing. Now, Charmander, barrage, miss. Oh, it hit me this time. Ow. Critical. Ow! It only hit twice though, so basically it's only three times. Spits! Yeah! Throw up all over the- oh god, it did less damage. It did less damage. Ralts lowered its head. Defense rose. Alright, so... This is my only shot here. I'm gonna have to mud shot the Ponyta again. Psycho Boo! It's not even gonna kill it. It's gonna kill me. Charmander's done. How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? It's a matter of time. Whenever Mewtwo chooses Psycho Boot, missing, missing. Those attacks can miss. That's ridiculous. That's the only way I can beat this if it, if those attacks miss. My only actual attacks here are Skull Bash, which takes a turn to use, and is not even Ralts is not even a physical attacker. But missing, missing seems to be the key to victory in this. We have to beat this. It will happen. Ralts attack missed. Skull bash. And boom. Least Pony Tuss down. That's a better strategy. So Ralts needs to use Skull Bash on his first turn against the Pony Ta instead. Ralts grew to 24. That's fine. Okay. It's this Mewtwo that is impossible. So if on turn one I chose okay, fight, Skull Bash. Sky attack. If turn one, I attack with both Ralts and... Oh, I lived! Super Potion. I attacked with both... 
Ooh, I'll heal and attack next turn, won't I? No, I don't have a chance. Oh, God. Skullvash. I will um, attack with Charmander and Ralts on Ponyta. Ponyta's out. Turn one. Done. Speed-wise, it's actually going to die on turn two, and I have to miss the barrage. And then Mewtwo needs to miss every attack. This is going to take hundreds, hundreds of tries. Okay, wait. I got to go back at items. We got to make sure we heal. Um, Do I have a super? Yes. Use on Ralts. 49 HP. Thank you. Sky attack. Miss. Miss. No! Oh! Liv, you had full HP. Oh, God. I gotta heal again. I gotta heal again. I mean, I don't know what to do. I gotta heal again. Super potion use. Ralts. Probably could have got away with a normal one, but... Psycho, what do I do? You're unbeatable. I resist it. Oh, my God! This guy is unreal. Why didn't I start with that? Honestly, I prefer our starters over getting a legendary. So, I'm happy with this scenario. But can we even win? Can we? I used my two Super Po God. He just whips him out. He just whips him out. Okay. Okay. I don't even know what to do anymore, guys. Okay. How to use a Pokemon Hamster White it out. I... Uh, I, I, okay, wait a minute. Let's take a good look at our Pokemon right now, now that we have the chance and we've seen them in battle. All right, so Charmander, who is now in level 29, though that doesn't really matter much, the experience I've not gone over, and I've lost my Super Potions. Let me, let me check. Do I actually have, one before I continue, do I actually have my Potions back? No, because my experience changed too, but I didn't evolve. That would have helped. If we evolved, I might have been able to kill him on a second time through. But we couldn't. Darn it. Okay, so summary. Charmander's ability is Blaze. So abilities are actually not randomized in this. That's interesting. Now, that brings up a point. Uh, while randomizing uh, this game, I didn't have nearly as many options as I did in previous uh, generating uh, games I've done randomizers in. This one, there was actually... Five pre-made randomizers made by somebody else. And um, for the most part, um, the other ones, from what I saw, um, had different difficulties, basically, from what you start with. Um, I, I knew a good amount of the other ones, like three of them, and I tried to pick one that was not grabbed before. I didn't know what the contents were. Clearly, this is not... Like, there's a reason nobody online that I've seen has chosen this randomizer, because it's so hard. But... I want to beat it. I'm going to be that guy who finds some way to beat that Mewtwo. The Ponyta's not too bad, but that Mewtwo, that freaking Mewtwo is so unreal. And what I think I've got to do is restart the game in order to get back into that battle and um, try again and again and again because you can't save before that point. We talked to everybody. Uh, you saw I don't have any ability of saving right now. There's nothing I can do. I just lose. So... Either I fight the Ponyta and try and level grind, which is ridiculous. It's not gonna... Unless I gained a, a move, I... I don't know. I have no idea, but we gotta figure out some way to beat this thing. And it's it's probably gonna take me a long time. Honestly, I have no idea how I'm gonna be able to do this. But I'm gonna do my best. Honestly, I'm sorry, but like, I'm still kind of stalling in here. But it's gonna take a very long time to get through here. Going back up and take a look at this again. Our Charmander is adamant, which I'll... Actually, that's all going to change if we restart the game over and over again. It's going to be whichever lucky one actually manages to beat them. So, natures don't matter, and abilities don't matter. Right now, they don't. So, these guys actually both leveled up, which means that we start Charmander level 28 and Ralts at level 23. No held item on either. I don't think we have anything that I could quickly give them for another battle. I didn't have any berries. I... They're not doing any of these kind of style things, and the Pokemon can't take that regard. Okay, no. No. We are screwed. This might be an impossible randomizer. It might... Can, my guy always wants to walk around. This might be an impossible randomizer, but I'm going to now, because I clearly cannot progress right now. I'm going to keep starting over and over and over again, fighting until I can finally beat that Mewtwo. The team up of Hotaru 
and Frank Spank. The MVPs of the last two games. I might as well run in here while I'm talking about this. And also, I'm going to try saying no to this guy. No, I don't want to fight. What do you say? Absolutely not. What are you saying? You're joshing, right? So what do you say? You'll be, oh, I don't have a choice. It's a pretend choice. I don't know. Maybe with like a lucky crit from me. I don't know. It's it's a matter of luck. This is all luck base. Psycho boost, I'm pretty sure, and sky attack can both miss. Rage is also a lucky move for him to throw. Ponyta is now on the, the left side. Does that matter? Mewtwo, does that mean he changes levels? Because then there could be a lucky combination of one having a higher level versus another. Let's see. Maybe this is upon rematch. I trace presser. No, they're both 24. Doesn't matter. I don't know. This fight. God, what are you. Oh, man, it's so hard. We don't even know Ponyta's other two moves or Mewtwo's final move. But it doesn't even matter. He has Psycho Boost. And he uses it, and it's pretty much a one-shotter to whoever he hits. And I don't have any Super Potions. This is over. This is over. But anyway, I'm going to be restarting the game, trying this again and again and again. And I guess I'm just going to record it. So whenever I get lucky with fighting this thing, I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. But either way, I'm still so pumped to play this game. I'm really excited to be that one guy who manages to beat this Mewtwo, if there any was anybody else, but still. I'm excited because I love these starters. They're really awesome Pokemon. I want to raise them through this game. But we have to beat this impossible wall to even start. But either way, that is all the time we have for this time, so thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more, and wish me luck for next time, guys. I will see you all in the next episode of Pokemon Coliseum Randomizer. See you!